Hey everybody, Kane here and welcome to another video of Art of Conquest. In this one, we are going to talk about mistakes that people tend to make. So the past couple of weeks, I had been changing people's accounts and many of them tend to make very similar mistakes. Some more, some less, some not fully make them efficient. So we're going to talk about many of these. First of them is Covenant. So yes, I've spoken about this feature in probably five, maybe six videos. I've spoken in group chats about it and even fought some very bad opinions of people and whatever they assumed from whatever person they had received. And still people tend to not properly focus this particular feature. So one of those opinions is that this particular value that when you put on this piece, right? It does not get added to here, it gets straight up added to their army. That's the probably one of the stupidest things I could, like ever heard, okay? So every single feature has this information button. And that means all of these stats, not the breakthroughs, but stats from your uh, gears, like substats, get added onto this. And then they get capped into oblivion. And then they get put on the army. So what happens is many people overfocus this one particular value. And the maximum amount that they would be able to get from this feature is 99.9% .9 reduced damage taken. Which turns to 99.9 .9 physical and 99.9 .9 magical damage reduction which is less than 200% total resistances. Now, as you can see, what I have done is I focused three of them. The one that is, say, together, uh, both reduced damage taken, and uh, separate ones with physical and magic damage taken. So what this means is that all of these three get added on to the army unit separately and that is a lot of resistances so if you add this value to here that will make a hundred and fifty ish percent physical damage reduction if you add this value to this as well it's going to make a hundred and fifty one percent magic damage reduction so the total value of this is around three hundred percent resistances do you remember I said before that if you focus this, the total is below 200%. And what I have right now, the total is over 300%. So you have to properly manage this particular feature. Now, many people would say, yeah, but this feature is no longer important because many heroes just one tap your army. Yeah, you could argue that this feature is not important, but if you don't properly manage these resistances, well, what's going to happen is uh, Avril will not require to overstack her Arcane 8. She will just cast one ability and your frontline disappears. Valerie will make your frontline disappear. Hell, even Teadron will start blasting your frontline with the level 10 out of retribution with huge attack values so if people don't properly manage them even like even gazel was killing heroes but those heroes that did not have proper armories which we're also going to talk about so you really have to optimize your stuff and you also have to think about whether or not your resources are always being spent in a good way because also people said, oh, I think I got that information from a trip or, or whatever other high core player. Well, those high core players are being, say, uh, what people tend to write, like driven, like used, like being uh, played by other people. And those other people might not even know the proper information. So what do you see on those high tier Kraken accounts? They can just change whenever they want like they can just buy stuff you have to spend your resources efficiently 
and properly. Otherwise, it's going to be very costly for you to redo this feature multiple times. So that's the first thing that people still tend to not focus. Then we have a very old feature that also many people miss. And there is this information icon right here. So people tend to not focus resistances on their front line. They do everything but resistances. So every piece has to still have two resistances on here. The other stats, not that much important, but if you get HP, healing received, all of those things are good and welcome. So what I have here is 40% physical and 40% magical, but they get capped. So they remove like 5.6% or something. And still, this is separate resistances from, say, Covenant that are being added onto the army unit, which makes the army unit tankier. So you have to properly manage these features with resistances that make your frontline less likely to be blown up by the randomest heroes ever. You want your frontline to be killed by real DPS only and not some random Tiadrin Hour of Retribution or some random other heroes. Aside from that, we have armory. As you can see, I have a little bit of a different armory. I'm testing this, and it seems to be performing quite well on a couple of other accounts. I have not really tested this on my own because I have level 70 drac. So I put this on on my own, but I have not yet done dual tower with it on my own account. Other accounts, 10 out of 10 uh, tests and performance for drag to be pretty decent. But we're not going to talk about that. We're going to talk about the attributes. So many people also tend to mistake in this for the same thing as Covenant, right? So somebody came out and said, hey, all of these resistances from this particular, say, stone are being added on to um, your dragon. Same for heroes, same for army. People probably don't realize that there is also an information icon right here in which you go down and you see how much resistances you're getting. So um, as you know, I guess many people, I was like, okay, I mean, 10 people said this, right? I, I mean, I, I think they have the right information, so I'm going to do this myself. I did this myself. My dragon had like 450 million HP, and my dragon was being one-shotted regardless. I have one tanky greater ability. My dragon was being one-shotted before Ether and, and whatever, right? Like, it was dying. So then I kind of wondered, well, if my dragon is kind of dying with uh, like this, maybe I should reduce this a little bit and just invest into HP. And yeah, I increased my dragon's HP and I noticed that Lee was not one-shotting my dragons anymore as before. Or not as often as before. So yeah, that's the sort of thing I did. And, I mean, it's kind of visible that if uh, I reduced 0.2% resistances and it did not do me anything bad and even better that I invested into Dragon's HP, I mean, it could be exactly the same for the other ones. Now, that does not mean you should not get high resistances on Army or high resistances on Dragon or Heroes whatsoever. All of these, pretty much like Heroes and Dragon, this is the only feature to get a lot of resistances. So you still have to have very high numbers in here. So for Dragon, I'd say above 99, whichever percent you want to have. Uh, you can always test it. A few stones will never be wasted because you can eventually just turn it into level 5s, right? Just don't overdo it too much with too many level 5s. Uh, aside from that, army, I'd say above 95% is welcome. Anything over seems like a waste. Aside from that, heroes, I'd say 98 or 99, and that's a stop. You don't require 99.9 .9 because that is a huge waste. But this feature also has 
is another stat that many other features do not give you. And that is attack speed, right? So you get this value of attack speed for all friendly units by basically just upgrading your weapons to level 60 and breakthrough level 60. But you can also put attack speed on your heroes further. Now, when I have done that, both the weapons and the additional stones for attack speed. Now, keep in mind, my research is not really that good. Miley started to do more damage and he started to appear in top one, top two, and even one shotting dragons and doing just like damage in a battle, right? And before I upgraded the weapons, or rather, I swapped two weapons and put in some attack speed stones. This hero was almost never existent in terms of the damage leaderboards, rankings, um, or rather the data logs, nor he was ever able to one-shot the dragons or heroes or whatever. So attack speed has something to do with how much damage he does with these particular abilities, even though like he gets many bonuses from other things, you still have to invest in attack speed for this particular hero to be proper. Unfortunately, I do not have, uh, say, any specific stats because there's other features that have attack speed as well. So I don't know which value you require on this hero to perform better. But seems as though that stuff that I have upgraded in Armory makes this hero also pretty decent and a top DPS too. Even if I use an hourglass, and yes, I use hourglass as well as a couple of other people, and it's performing a lot better than that of, uh, say, his own artifact, which is kind of funny. But uh, I'm talking more about my own tier gameplay and a little bit above. I don't know the very, very high tier gameplay, like the Kraken level gameplay, but these are the few things that people tend to make mistakes on. So some accounts that I have checked, they had like 40% resistances on dragon, army, heroes. Some had like 60. Some had insanely overfocused heroes attack and just random stuff like that. This feature is strictly resistances. Once you get your resistances very high, then you can think about maybe adding some different stats in this particular feature. Aside from that, full resistances. So yeah, that is what people tend to fail a little bit on. So these are, I guess, the three features that um, people tend to make Pretty similar mistakes that can cause very, very dire, I guess, and very bad consequences in terms of PvP because right now, heroes have humongous, and I mean humongous, damage scalings. Like, Miley has, what, like 742 million attack? The Drac has 546 and he's level 70 at 75. This would likely be 800, 900. So the scalings of attack values are insane. And if you don't have proper resistances, like these heroes will just one tap your army and just clear it in two to three seconds. And you don't want your frontline to be cleared in two to three seconds. You want it to die the fastest, you know, possible, like 20 seconds. You want it to at least survive 20 seconds and not like five seconds, you know, because five seconds, you just get rolled over and, you know, army is just walking forward. So be aware that those features have to have proper resistances all the time. So yeah, that is what I kind of noticed. That is what mistakes people tend to make. Do let me know in the comments down below whether or not this helped you out. If it did, do hit that subscribe button. It would help me out a lot. As well as if you would wish to support me more than just watching my videos, I have made a Patreon page where you would be able to do just that. In return, I would be able to help you out more individually. 
in terms of events, PvP formations and stuff like that. As well as I would like to thank all of my patrons for the support. I really, really appreciate it for your subscriptions. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Take care and stay safe out there.